Hi everybody, it's Bboz again. Uh, today I'm going to teach you about some of the deeper setup of custom rooms. So you've already got the basics, you've already published your room, but now you want to really configure it to do exactly what you want it to do. So the way you do that is, uh, let's start here. So you're on your home screen and then you tap this room, right? That's all the information on the room that you're in. And then tap setup and there's a bunch of different setup options here. Um, a lot of them live in this general setup tab. So one example of something you might want to do with your room is make it into a subroom. So subroom settings will help you do that. You can choose here subroom of blank. So this is currently a subroom of itself, uh, but we can change that. We can change that to make it a subroom of any of the other rooms that I own. So let's try to make it a subroom of Beat Machine. And it'll take a minute to do that. And then poof, now suddenly Hive Hive, the room we're in now, is a subroom of Beat Machine. You can see that here, subroom of Beat Machine. And you can also see that here, the title of the room is now Beat Machine dot Hive Hive. Um, you can also change some of the settings of the subroom. Uh, some of the basic stuff, allow scoreboards, max players, what the mood is, that'll change the, the sky. Um, enforce host only areas, that stuff like uh, can people get on the stage in some rooms. Uh, this entry subroom button is specific to uh, some new stuff we're doing with subrooms. This means if you have multiple subrooms in your room, uh, this is the one that players will go to when they uh, go to your room. And if there are multiple entry subrooms, then we'll match make them into the best possible uh, of those. So that's subrooms. Uh, let's go back to just generic room settings. Uh, so these three that are checked here are all kind of associated. Uh, support teleport VR, support screens, and support walk VR. That just means what kind of players can get into your room. Uh, what kind of locomotion that the players have. So, you know, people that, people that are in, VR, in VR that are walking, they can get in. People that are on screens not in VR, they can come in. People that are in VR and teleporting, they can get in. So everyone can come to this room. Uh, this last checkbox here is others can copy. That means that my room is available for other players to copy and make into their own rooms. So I might make a neat room and then say like, yeah, I'm open to other people starting with my room as their base and then evolving on that. Uh, I think that's a really neat new feature that we've added recently. So let's go back. And then, so one more thing about subrooms. We have this subrooms button here, which lists all of the subrooms of this room and uh, let you quickly jump to those. So if we go back, let's see what else besides subrooms that we have in settings. Um, one of those things is permissions and roles. So permissions and roles are things you use to control what people can do in your rooms. So permissions, um, creator, that's what the, the creator of the room can do. That's me, the person who created the space. Co-owners, you can add other people as co-owners to your room and you can set what they can do here. So this, bus, this button will add them and then this button will configure what they can do in your room and then all the way down, host, everyone, and your defaults. Uh, so if we go back, something very similar for roles, this is the same kind of thing, but like game roles. So when your game is running, what different kinds of people can do. So for example, if we want everyone to be able to fly in the room, we go everyone, settings, and then can fly, check that box and say yes. So now in this room, everyone will be able to fly. Uh, so that's how you use roles and permissions in your rooms. Uh, and I think that's all I want to say about settings today. So thanks for listening. I uh, hope to see you in Rec Room. <laughs>